Welcome to my quick little tutorial on how to get Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so what I have here is I made a folder on my desktop where I put most of my app images at. Um, right here is my MCBE, which is Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I have an app image right here. Um, I named it uh, that way. That way when I go to my desktop shortcut, uh, it'll show up. There is my app image, so whenever I update it, I have to rename it. And I also added a custom image so that whenever I am clicking it, you can see the Minecraft image. So you go to the Minecraft la Linux launcher, you can click the uh, blue text that says there's an update available. It might take a little bit, but it should open up your browser. It'll automatically download the newest update. And I'll have my, the app image I have right now available for download. And if there's any update that you guys are required, just open it up, download a new one, and then put it into its place. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy and paste my name here to the new one so I don't lose my desktop shortcut. As you can see right here, just going to paste it in. So that way I can just cut this and paste it over the old one and just overwrite. That's it. Um, and here is the MC stuff I have. Basically you just want to open up the folder that you have and type this code in. And uh, that way you can log into your Linux or your Linux, your Google Play account. Uh, if you guys, don't know what I'm talking about. I'll leave a link in the description to my original video on how to install Minecraft Bedrock Linux. And that goes a little bit more in depth with what you need to do. Make sure you have your execute permissions as anyone, otherwise you can't launch it at all. And then execute. And you can see here's Minecraft. So from my testing, not every single version works great, especially before 13, update 13, uh, F11 no longer full screens properly. A way around that is to just manually set the window size. That way when you full screen, it takes up whatever the resolution of your monitor is. But I'd recommend just playing in update 13 or higher. I know as of recording this video, the betas don't work, at least when I last test them. I normally just play on the 13.0. The servers still do work. I'm actually logged into my girlfriend's account right now. And you can see, you can just create a new world. Now I will say on the Raspberry Pi, it's not super optimized or anything. I do recommend downloading some sort of resource pack that removes particles or something. Just to minimize what it needs to do. I have everything on lowest settings. I don't think I have cloud rendering on. Sometimes I turn it on with the resource pack I have because it's 2D clouds. But uh, yeah, I'll just let this load for you guys. Uh, also keep in mind, I am overclocked with my Raspberry Pi, so performance may, may vary for you. I'm also screen recording, so if you are overclocked, you'll probably see better, slightly better performance than what I see right now. Um, the biggest thing is servers lag more than anything. You're not going to get perfect uh, performance with the servers, that is for sure. Stuff like build battle is still fine. I mean, the lag's to tolerable, but you can see I'm at the 2 gigahertz or 2 megahertz, I think it is, overclock. And I have active cooling, so I'm only sitting at a 62 degree. It's not that bad. So I'm not throttling at all. Oh, and sometimes it glitches when you try to full screen. Ah, uh, you could just reset the game to fix that, but... You know, this is basically what happens with older versions, though. It'll full screen, but it, it'll just be a small box. I'll quickly look around for you guys. Um, remember, I'm recording at 16 frames per second, so... <laughs> you're not seeing, like, exactly what I see, but I'd say the game probably plays it as to, like in between 20 to 30 frames per second. It's not great. 
I mean, if there's not much going around, it almost hits a full 60. Unfortunately, we can't go any farther down than six chunks. If anybody knows how to lower the chunks in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, then please let me know. But as right now, this is about the best I can do for performance. Um, highly dense forests usually lag a lot more. Fields tend to run really smooth on this device. It, it's kind of a hit and miss, honestly. So depending upon how much you want to bear the lag on your Raspberry Pi, it's it's playable. It's not great, but it's certainly not horrible. I mean, as for me, I'd rather play on my gaming PC, but like I said, I, I have a Raspberry Pi that's my girlfriend's main computing machine right now. And I have one that I also use for computing. And for both of us, this has worked really nice. As you can see, it works a lot better over here. But yeah, that's basically it. That's Minecraft and the Raspberry Pi for you. Hopefully this helped a little bit. Anything you'll need will be in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please ask the Discord in the description because they know so much more than I do. I, I can only help so much. If I get a bunch of comments, all I'm gonna say is check the Discord because this isn't my application. Also, if you go to your .local share and then find the MCPE launcher, uh, this game, figure, the control thing, if that's not in your folder, just paste the one I have inside the download as well into this location. That way you'll have control support. Uh, anyway, hopefully that guys helped you and see you guys later.